Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 10th, 2018. So last night, the futures opened and they quickly moved sharply lower. We were down 200 points really quickly last night, but um, the bulls have picked that up off the lows. We are moving higher this morning. We were initially looking at, as I was writing the morning note, we were looking at about a 60, 70 point gap down. Now we're looking at a very modest gap down of only a few points as those bulls try to pick up this market and push us a little bit higher. So here's the thing we have to watch this morning pretty darn closely. We have this price support right in here. Now we need to see those bulls pick up and push up off of that support level. If they happen to fail, as a matter of fact, if the overnight lows in the futures market happen to be tested sometime during the day, we could easily slip down in here. And here's that next level of support in the Dow. We don't want obviously to see that happen if that is um uh particularly if you're short i guess i should say should say we don't want to see that happen but right now all of a sudden we're getting this bullish response but let's keep in mind that we are tremendously volatile in this market anything is possible so if we do happen to bounce in here, let's watch these price resistance levels. Right through here, we have that open gap right in here that could serve as a little bit of resistance. So watch that right in there uh, for that potential. And let's also keep in mind, there is just tremendous technical damage here in the chart. And we should see some kind of resistance come into play right in this area as all of these um, shorter term or these moving averages come together. So watch that closely on the Dow. If we take a look at the SPY, the SPY um, also dealing right here at this support level. Will we see the bulls carry this through and find some support in there? Or will the bears carry us down and seek this next level of support down in here? Hopefully we'll get that bounce and we'll move back in here up. But let's keep in mind, we have significant levels of resistance in here that we'll have to deal with. There's some resistance right through here. Obviously there's resistance right through here and our downtrend line right in here. So let's watch all those closely as we try to catch a little bit of a rally. Let's take a quick look at the moving averages here on this as well. Notice that our 50-day moving average has crossed down over the 200-day moving average, and we've developed a resistance level right in here. So even if we do get a bounce, let's be really careful and realize that there's a lot of technical damage here. It's unlikely that we're just going to fly back higher as long as this political uncertainty continues to move around um, this market substantially. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the NASDAQ here, I do have some worry over, but we have a bit of a inverted head and shoulders type bottom that could be formed in here, assuming that we can bounce and rally off of this area here. You can see there's our, our shoulder right here ahead and the possibility of another shoulder, but we need to see this rally up off of here. So even if that occurs, remember we have a downtrend here that we have to contend with. That downtrend is certainly um, something we wanna watch. And then we have resistance levels right in here, substantial resistance levels that we have to pay attention to. And then once again, we have those moving averages. Um, 50 crossing down through the 200, we have a resistance level that we've established right in here that could be substantial. So don't expect the market to just fly back to the top. Um, we could see a lot of choppiness. Remember, volatility is very high. We could still see a lot of choppiness in the market. If we take a look at IWM, IWM kind of made its decision here last week, uh, breaking down below this price support. 
So you can see IWM is kind of floating out here in midair. The next level of support in this chart is right here, and that's where we caught that support on Friday, and we held right there. And this morning, you see we're trying to catch a little bit of a bounce. So we have resistance in here to deal with. We also have our downtrend resistance here to deal with, as well as these additional levels um, in this chart. So lots of work for these indexes to recover. And once again, we've created that moving average barrier right up in here. So watch that closely as well. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX it has been, uh, well, certainly elevated last week. We closed the week at um, a pretty high level here in the VIX, so not real comfortable here for the market right now. So we can expect considerable volatility yet to continue. And with the futures having gapped down 200 points overnight, if we don't hold this support level this morning, then we could see those those lows be tested. And if that were the case, we could really see VIX, if we start to sell off, we could really see the VIX begin to spike and some fear really start to turn into panic. And as you saw back here uh, last February, we kind of hit that panic point. We're running clear up here into the 30s of the VIX. Hopefully that doesn't occur. Hopefully we will begin to see some cooler heads prevail. That fear start to pull back here. These tops right in here hold and we've moved back down toward the lower area here in the VIX so watch that let's take a look at T2122 now T2122 um, I plot this on a line chart and as you can see T2122 is suggesting that we're down here in this bullish reversal zone that place where we could expect um, just a little bit of a bounce uh, from being oversold However, what I don't want to see is I don't want to see these radical spikes continue to occur. When we get these big radical spikes in the market, then we just find those sellers and, and drive it right back down. We want to end some of that volatility. So let's, if we can get going off of here, it would be nice to just see a little bit of a grinding move higher, maybe even a little consolidation in the price action so that we can begin to see um, things calm down just a little bit, some of this wild volatility drop out. But we still have to remember there's a lot of political uncertainty out there and that is certainly going to continue to affect the market. Any news, anything could spin this market and completely reverse it really, really quick. So we're gonna have to really stay on our toes. If you do decide to trade, Please keep in mind, it would be wise with the speed of this market, if you start seeing profits in either a long or a short position, to be considering to take those profits quickly rather than swinging for a home run. Quick base hits might be the place to be if you do decide to trade right now. So be cautious and be careful. Anything is possible in this market. Let's take a quick look at the economic calendar here as we can see here on the economic calendar we don't have a lot going on except the jobs report this morning so we'll have to keep an eye on that at 10 o'clock and then after that some bond auctions and td ameritrade imx when which rarely moves the market at all so keep that in mind. On the earnings calendar today, we had about 36 companies reporting earnings. So we're going to want to keep an eye on those just in case we happen to be holding um, or thinking about buying one of those companies. You don't want to be surprised by not knowing uh, about an earnings report. So make sure you're checking into that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And let's take a look and see if there are any, um, any charts that we should be taking a look at um, here going forward. I got to tell you, some of the defensive stocks have seen a little bit of pullback here recently, but these defensive stocks right here, MDLZ, you can see MDLZ breaking this downtrend rallying up and now showing several times it's trying to hold this level 
of support right here. So it might be worth putting MDLZ on a watch list, keeping an eye on that for a potential trade, see if that can um, move a little bit higher. Um, we've seen some good moves um, in some of the gold stocks and some of the gold plays. So maybe you look at stocks like ABX. You can see ABX testing this long-term downtrend line. If that can pop out of there, that might um, show some signs of improvement. Also, keep an eye on those utility stocks. Utilities like Duke Energy here, still looking very good, putting in a three-day little consolidation here and a nice uptrend still in play here in Duke. So you might wanna keep an eye on that. Um, a, a trade that I've been keeping pretty close eye on, UAA, UAA challenging a major resistance area. Um, you can see we've got price resistance in here. But I want you to also note that there is an open gap here above. So with UAA in this nice little upside trend, if that were to pop through, we'd want to watch that close and see if um, we could catch some catch some profits um, on that trade. This morning, it's looking as if UAA is going to gap lower, however. And then last but not least, I've been keeping an eye on this FireEye pretty closely. We made some great money on this in the last couple of weeks. FireEye, if I, I'm gonna go to a weekly, you can see breaking a majorly long downtrend, holding up on that uh, move right now and challenging this resistance level. So we need to see uh, FireEye break through there, but it might be worth keeping an eye on if uh, FireEye can kind of hold on to this little current uptrend and keep moving higher. So just a few trades for you to keep an eye on and, and watch. There's a lot of uh, potential ideas out there. Just remember that volatility is really, really high. So everyone have an awesome day. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos would you please do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment and always 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 feel free to share this video with any friends and family you guys are awesome leaving those comments and clicking those thumbs up buttons has really made a difference the videos the algorithms are picking up on that information and starting to show these videos to more people so thank you very much you guys are the best so with that everyone have an awesome day Day. I wish you great profits. Take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you all right back here tomorrow morning, bright and early, with another edition of Morning Market Prep. Everyone take care. Talk to you soon.